Hey guys and welcome to Game Nights. I'm Alan Zari and this is Hogwarts Legacy. As you know, we have been doing a whole lot of exploration of Hogwarts itself. We received the uh, level 2 Alohomora spell in the um, previous video, which I believe was video 32. And I had a whole long chat or discussion on the merits Rebellion. of Mass Effect 2 and uh, 3 and a little bit on, and of course Andromeda. That being said, I also commented on some uh, letdowns with the Mass Effect Andromeda game. And I'm sure some of you would agree with me on those, some of those letdowns. Not all. I think Hello, some Homura. people didn't like the game at all. Uh, some people did. I know that like I've played the game a few times, enjoyed it. Um, Mass Effect Andromeda, that is. Uh, another thing that I wasn't overly fond of was being able to change your class mid game. Like, as I said, I play Vanguard. That is my class. I do not Rebellion. swap to other um, combat styles um, mid playthrough. I will, if I want to play another combat style, I will specifically choose that combat style as my playthrough at the start of my playthrough. I'm not going to change it to something else simply because I can. Um, but. We can put Mass Effect aside for now and focus on Hogwarts. So, obviously, this is video 33. Now, I've played a Rebellion. lot, I've played a lot of side quests, I've done a bit of exploration. Some exploration in the world map, as you know, some exploration in Hogsmeade, and quite a lot now in Hogwarts itself. As you can see, let's actually look at Hogwarts as a whole. As you can see, we've got 28 of 35 chests, 123 pages, 7 of 10 demigod statues, and of course, we can only do the astronomy, astronomy table once we've gone to the astronomy class. Um, but Hello, for Homer. now, I am quite happy with the progress that I've done. I've done quite a lot, as you've seen. Um, we've done the first chat, first of four challenges, they get harder and harder. Part of the reason for the exploration is of course to make myself stronger. Rebellion. But more importantly, from my perspective, now if you look at the bottom right, you've got your little health bar and you've got ten health potions and you've got all your spells and those little kind of ancient magic icons. Now the ancient magic icon, I can then, when it's filled up, can cast two special ancient magic spells to kill people or do a lot of damage depending on how strong they are, right? And that's all well and good. Good freedom. But when you do certain, certain spell configurations, granted you're not going to get them in Hogwarts. They're outside in the world in general. Rebellion. You complete a certain challenge. Hello, Hamora. Complete the challenge. Um, you get an extra one of those bars. So you get three ancient magic bars or four ancient magic bars. And that's all from exploration. Which of course I'm going to have to do if I want to do that. I need those for some of those harder um, challenges that I'm going to perform Rebellion. later. So why not? Levioso! Lumos! What do. That's up there. Why not take advantage of the simple fact that we are um, doing exploration now and become as strong as possible, right? I think there's a page up there. Is this here? Uh, it could be the other side. Um, I'll have to come back this way in a moment. As you know, because there's stuff that I've missed here. Um, he's empty. Maybe it's the other one. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing a whole lot of exploration of the game in general soon, and not just Hogwarts. Partly because I want to get that third Alohomora spell. 
just because it makes life easier. You can unlock everything. And partly because I'm one of those people who likes to get as close to 100% exploration as possible. I'm... I like to do that. I don't always manage it. I have done 100% achievements on... Bollocks. Lumos. I've done 100% achievements on... Um, Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. I've not done 100% achievements on Andromeda. Um, although eventually I will. Now, if you do watch my Mass Effect videos, you'll notice that I'm earning achievements. For some unknown reason. Now, part of that is because it's uh, Legendary Edition, so they've decided to give you new achievement things. Um, but I changed computers. And when I reinstalled the game, despite being linked to Origins, I lost all my achievement points for some unknown reason, which of course means you've got to be earned them. Which is kind of annoying when some of those achievements actually give you bonuses um, for your papers. But I'll have to earn those back eventually. I don't know how or when, because some of them take a lot of work, but we'll get there. Um, but let's focus on Hogwarts. I want to try and get 100% um, completion, right? Now that of course means all 150 pages. For the record, I'm at 148 in my other playthrough, which I haven't played since I started doing this. Now there was an update the other Rebellion. day, and according to the update, uh, this is the most important bit, they fixed the bug. Um, now, you of course don't know what bug that is, but basically you get your unlocking spell. You're doing exploration, and there's a cage, so you unlock the cage, because normally there are trapped animals in the cage. Hello, the fucking more. cage was empty. So, I'm like, okay, just keep going. And then, uh, a couple of days later when I was playing again, I was still playing, I should say. Um, it very helpfully Let me gave me a side quest. And the side quest was go and unlock that cage you've already unlocked and free the moon cop. Rebellion. There was no lock. I can't unlock a moon cage. I can't free the moon cop. And the quest was bugged. Couldn't finish it. And I just got so annoyed that I couldn't do that. Not because I had. Um, didn't have the spell or anything like that, but simply because they didn't fix that before they released the game. Surely someone else would have done that. And obviously based on the whole hundred thousand wrong one. Comments on this quest is broken. I'm not the only person who unlocked that damn chest and found that the fucking thing was bugged. Or unlocked that cage and found the damn thing bugged. So yeah, um, the update is supposed to fix that. Rebellion. Check it. And we won't need to worry about it this time because I know about it this time. But that stopped from annoying me that the first time I played the damn game and it bugged on me like that. Did I unlock this? I think so. I did. Okay. Now, I think that's yeah. Those are birds. What's up there? Rebellion. Nothing. I don't think. It doesn't look like much. Now we came up here already, and we went that way. So let's go this way. I don't think there's all really that much in here, but we will find out. And nothing. Stuff down there. So let's head down there. Can we look? We can. Hello, Hamora. Um. So I have done minor reviews of this game in the past, and I'll continue to do so as we go through the video. Sometimes I'll mention things that I've already mentioned. Now. 
What do we have here? This particular thing, the demigod, Revelio. despite having been mentioned before, look, my bags are full again. Despite having mentioned it before, I do want to point out that. Mine now, Demi guys. For me, the most disappointing thing in Hogwarts Legacy is the fact that you don't have companions. Now, you do need to. Well, you're supposed to do the challenges, the ancient magic challenges for the main story on your own. Fair enough. Almost certainly be easier if you had a companion, but they want you to do those. You should on your be own. proud of all the potions so, you brewed. Okay, we'll do it on our own. Acceptable. However, if you had decided to accept the idea of having companions, okay. Now, for some people they just like to do themselves, and they don't want a companion. They just don't want to gear it up. Fine. But you don't gear up your companions in this game anyway, even when you get them, because you get them for this quest here and that quest there, but you don't gear them up. And even if you didn't want to, Revelio. you could. I mean, look at this. I've got the gear for it. Um, that's better, thank you. Um, but yeah, so I've got the gear to um, make things better for overall right so I can could gear them up if I wanted to similarly I might not gear them up but say we had you had the option of having companions you have say two companions just as a ballpark thing Maybe you just decide to have one, but I'm going to go with two because it's a kind of standard um, companion number for many games. Um, I know that Dragon Age has three companions, Mass Effect is a two. Um, I've got a couple of other games that go with two as well, I just can't remember what. Um, Fallout 4 actually has one, so you can get a mod that allows you to have two, which is the dog and a companion. And if you're particularly sneaky, there's, there are other mods that can give you up to four other companions, including the dog and the base game companion, which I quite like. Simply for the sake of carrying more shit and not having to run back to town every two fucking minutes. Having extra people to carry shit is great. Um, is that my general appearance? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, that is why one of the, well one of many reasons why I like having the extra companions from that mod is of course the extra carry capacity that like that they provide. Uh, you just need to be careful not to strip all their armor off and then have to bloody well track it down and give it back to them, as it were. Um, that is everything. Let's go and sell stuff, right? Yes. Um, Hogsmeade. Selling stuff in Hogsmeade. Um, but, say you had two companions. Now, I have two friends who play this game as well. Hogsmeade, That's not to say I only know two people who play the game. I have two friends who are on my Steam who play the game. MC is one of them, and Ulti Wolf Thank Fox you again is the for other. delivering those potions to Madame Lawen. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. I have a third friend who has it on wishlist, and I'm quite certain there are a number of other people I know who also want to play it. I know in real life, if not on Steam, who also want to play Hogwarts Legacy. Now, say for example you're playing the game, or you're all playing the game, and you decide, you know what, why don't we all, three of us, play the game together? Now. You can have up to three companions. Why can't there be other students at the school who are also playing the game? Other people you know who are also playing the game. You're all students together. You can... Um, granted, you could be... You can each challenge the 
um, a dueling competition, or you could work together as a dueling champ to be the dueling champion. You've got the Accio thing, that, that Accio um, challenge, where I hope to see in you theory again. you can Farewell have one champion now. who wins the competition, or you can go against each other just to make it more interesting. <laughs> Options, right? And obviously you'll have the group of you, all three of you see ancient magic, or if you three of you use ancient magic, all three of you can do the damn challenges. In theory. And Hello of course there. you'll Come together, in. you can pass to look like a boss. Okay? That's what I think would be better. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let's get the chopping thing. Um, that's a potting table. That's an expensive potting table. That's a cheaper potting table. Now we've got 500 cash. We can get the beast toys. Cool. Let me know Almost if there's anything else I can do. Here. From this guy, which is great. So that's one of the things that I think would have been nice had they decided to say, you know what? Yeah. Let's give everyone companions, other students at the school, they can, you know, do their own thing, play the game together, go to classes, fight the goblins, fight the dark wizards together, um, even if they're from different houses, because you're making friends from different houses. Even if the original stories, the Harry Potter books, um, had them as rivals, or Hogwarts, Houses were rivals, so no one likes Slytherin. I don't know why you don't just get a snitch from in. But at least you would have the option. Like, my character's a Slytherin. My friend MC, he's naturally a Slytherin. I'm naturally a Gryffindor. Uh, by that, I mean, when you're playing games where you can choose to be good or you choose to be evil, he always chooses to be evil. Always. Name a game, he's chosen to be evil. Me, I always choose to be good. And that's just how I play the games. I always prefer to go what is termed the Paragon Path. That is my playstyle. Um, whereas his playstyle is evil. He plays the Renegade Path. Always. Name again, he goes the Renegade Path. Um, so, yeah, it's fun, but. That's just who we are. And I just... I think it's... The game's lost... The game creates lost an opportunity when they made it just you. And yes, if you were playing multiplayer, and there were three of you playing, and all of you were looting stuff, surely there should have been a trade option to share loot. So... So many lost opportunities, in my opinion. Um, that's just from the companion side of things. Um, you can't upgrade your companion's gear, so they never really prove much in combat. Their combat style now is what their combat style will always be. Um, and that's all you that's all you're gonna get. This one here, we are still missing a chest, we're missing a bunch of pages, we're still missing a demigod statue. Hmm. Yeah, we got the demigod statue from there, which is cool. Um, but we're still missing something. I bet there's some stuff up here. We'll check it out now. I think this is actually... Here, we've got this down here. For the record, that there, that blue thing there, is our missing astronomy table. Now, flying, I am fairly comfortable with flying with this. I have no problem with the choices in how they made flying work. I actually quite enjoy it. I'm fair at it. I'm pretty sure um, Quidditch would suck, but Rebellion. not because 
it would be badly designed because they've had a number of games to learn how to get the bridge as an option in games to work simply because I'm not very good at catching that damn Quidditch. Never was. Hello, um, regardless, it would be an option. And my, I've mentioned this before, I believe, my brother says that he, there's probably going to be a DLC where Quidditch will be added. And I think uh, many people will probably get it specifically for the Quidditch, but me, it wouldn't add much to the game as a whole. Um, a DLC that gave you companions would be more valuable. Right to now, Demi guys. Simply for a personal preference sake on gameplay. Hello, Hamora. If memory serves, some of the pages can only be discovered during or after certain quests have been done. So, bearing in mind that I am doing serious exploration, some pages will only be able to be discovered later. Revelio. Okay, that's that. Okay. How are we here? That should be all the demigod statues in that section. It is. We're still a chest missing, but um, four pages. Let's see. Demigod statue in there. Astronomy tower, charms, defense against the dark arts, Professor Fig's class, defense against the dark arts, tower, transfiguration, courtyard. Let's go to the classroom first. I believe that is the biggest place that I missed because there is that door around the side. I probably unlocked it, but we can find out. Um, yeah. And that's the companion side. Flying is great. I have no problem with it. Works well. Movement is. Rebellion. And of course, you've got your boosts of speed. And the upgrades make those work better and longer, so that's cool. Um, my only complaint about the flying, and let's be fair, this is my only complaint, is that it takes so fucking long for him to do the upgrades. And I know why, because the upgrades only happen after you have finished so quest story um, sections um, so once you finish a certain point in the story you'll get the quiz the for it of such and I can understand them want doing it that way but I personally think that once you've done the quest to do the upgrade it should have been either a time it should have been a time-based thing okay so I've done this quest so that you can make the upgrade. Rebellion. Okay. Rebellion. Make it two, three days. Now, I'm talking about two, three days of actual game time, not two, three days of skipped game time. Because um, instead, it's however long it takes you to finish that down story. Oh, those are down there. That's where the demigod statue is. Okay, so we'll have to leave those for now. And because that is the last demigod statue in Hogwarts, we're going to leave those. And we are going to head to Hogsmeade and do some exploration up here. We'll start up here and work our way there. And we'll go around Hogsmeade doing some exploration, shall we? Like a boss. Bearing in mind that we are at 24 minutes and 22 seconds. So we will be doing a few minutes here. And then we will bugger off. By bugger off, I mean we'll end this video and then we'll start the next video soon. It is 10 o'clock now, so exactly 10 o'clock for me. Uh, that's local time. Rebellion. So, what was that? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Um, 
So yeah, 10 o'clock local time now. Aloha, Mora. Um, that means I've got two hours before the power goes out. That said, I'm not going to sit here and do four more videos. I've done three this evening. And I normally upgrade for these, so I'll probably do this video, which is the third one. I'll probably do another one Rebellion. after this, but I'm not going to do too many more. I have work in the morning. Um, there's a page somewhere. We can hear it. I hear you. Probably in here, but there. Thank you. Revelio. Oh, look, we have a talent. A new talent. Yay! Hmm. What is that? Oh, is that thing? Nothing of any great importance. Now, one, two, three. Can't go in there. Now, memory serves. Inventory. Nope. Nope. Yes, goes up by 8. Increased damage to cursed targets. It's ugly, but that's okay. Uh, we will swap it to the... Nice one. Thank you. And I believe the guy who I, meant, who I was trying to remember the other day reminds me of Daniel Craig. That's the name I was looking for the other day. And incidentally couldn't remember. Um, the appearance now, that is. My appearance now reminds me of Daniel Craig. Now we have three talent points to spend. Can't do any of those. Can do that. Is it worth doing? Defeating cursed target restores health, that may actually be valuable at some point. Not right now though. Um, some of these would actually be more useful. They can wait though. Rebellion. We've got three minutes left. Okay. Oh, there's a butterfly thing over there. There does not seem to be anything of interest up here. We did, of course, already empty that. Oh, uh, I didn't actually check how many more moons are needed for that quest. Oh, nine moons again. I thought it was something like 20 or something, but I, if it's only nine, that'll actually be easier, because I've already got four. So, five more, and we should be good. Rebellion. This I think is a three. It is. This is a good. now this is a Lumos Moon. I can find that. Just somewhere here. There. Here we go. Thank you. Let's take him back. Thank you. Lieutenant. Rebellion. Nothing. 
Money. Let's go to here and steal that. Thank you. Now, wait in there. That door cannot be opened. We have been in there, and we've pretty much due to that place dry. That one can't be opened. This is a cellar that can't be opened. This. Hello, Hamora. And there we go. Rebellion. Okay, well, here I am. That is 31 minutes, so thank you for watching. I hope you like my videos. I'm just going to clear this up because you know how I like having those gone. Okay, so yeah, I hope you like them. Please like, please subscribe, you know the deal. Comment, do your thing, and enjoy. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.